Oh, it's got my name on it and everything? Yeah, it's, that's a handmade. It's got a little elk antler. Look at that, folks. It's Leroy Christmas. Gibbons made that. Christmas early. I hope that fits. I hope it fits, too. Here we go. I got a fat head. Oh, it's backwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good? my gosh. Is that good? Bro, that fits. Fits. How's it look, Jamie? All right. You fucking... That face. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how they're supposed to fit. That's pretty close. Because they like they stick up a lot, and I feel like that's not how it's supposed to be. But everybody says that is how. It's so it to does. Be. There's there's like two modes that you can put it in. Yeah. You know, like there's just like if you're just out honky tonking, or then if you're about to like, you know, get on a bronc or something. Oh, get serious. And you Cinch like pull it down, down, and it makes your ears crunch. No. That's, that's like. It's like a fight mode. I think maybe this is too small. Does it I was stretch? thinking it's a three eighth. Does it stretch? A little bit, but to heat it up to I'll get you a hat. Yeah, heat it up. You steam it. No, steam it. The whole thing. I don't know. Made here in Texas. Are they? It's an American hat made in Texas. It feels like an American hat made in Texas. I'll get you. I'll get you a, a half. That's a three eighth. It's pretty close. But it's, it's right pretty about close. there. How's it feel? You can feels also, like I'm fucking real Texan. God damn it. <laughs> that's what i was thinking i was like my man's needs a cowboy hat i definitely need one now i have one we're good now i feel complete i'm yeah. real close to saying y'all yeah i'm getting close a couple times right around the corner <laughs> i've been here for three years now yeah i'm never moving i fucking love this place do you yeah love it i can't imagine living anywhere else texas is fun it's just like you go everywhere else and there's so many rules you're like why yeah. Why do you guys have all these rules? Like, do we really need them? Does it make you better? Does it make society better? Does it make you safer? Fuck out of here. I feel like in Texas, you can experience true freedom. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a crazy place. Do you ever uh, read the history of the place? Do you ever read, like, any uh, books on the, how this place was sort of established, like when they conquered the Comanches and the Texas yeah. Rangers? Or the Yano Estacado and all that <sighs> wild the history is just so insane like no wonder why they resisted becoming a state for so long like we got this it's brutal yeah some of that some of those stories are just like oh my god you got to set them down and come back to them yeah empire of the summer moon is like that like there's some of the horrific tales of torture and what they whoo those Comanche were some wild folks they were some wild folks. I mean, if I could have like a, 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 a like an invisible bubble and go back in time and just experience it without them knowing yep. I was there, I would love to see what that was like. Yeah, the, it was a brutal time, man. I feel just like brutal. Have you seen Lonesome Dove? Yes. Yeah, I feel like it's probably pretty close to what it was like. Yeah. I mean, just guessing. I mean, everyone's just sort of trying to recreate those moments and try to, but I think the, the it's just hard to believe that just, I mean, when did they really conquer this area? It was like the 1800s. So less than 200 years ago. Not that long ago. Not that long ago. This yeah. place was wild. Yeah, like wild. My, my great, great granddad was a Texas Ranger and- like he actually met Quanta Parker. Whoa! Yeah, in like sitting in a teepee with him. Whoa! And, uh, um, like he wrote a book. It's like really wild times of back in the day and like homesteading and. But it was like, I'm not that far away from meeting that guy. I mean, obviously right. you can't meet your great great granddad, but right. like you can not almost reach far. out and touch him. Yeah, yeah, not that far when you yeah. think about a human life, like how right. long ago it was. Right. I would say, but like 19, uh, 1776, the United States was established. People lived to be a hundred. That's three people ago. Three people. Ago. <laughs> That's three people ago. That's three people ago. I mean, it's when you think about it that way, you're like, wait, for real? Right. Three people ago was 1776, but. Yeah, you put him birth to death. That's real. That's real. That's real. That is all fucking snap of the fingers when it yeah. comes to human history. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why people go to talking about changing. Like, I don't know. There's, we're changing pretty fast. It's changing pretty fast here you right know, now. I think maybe we could slow down a little bit. <laughs> I wish we could. I had uh, Elon Musk on the other day. We were talking about AI, like slowing down artificial intelligence. And, you know, he's basically like, yeah, I, I said maybe we should do that, but no one's going to listen. It's yeah, not... he went to that conference at yeah. the end of it. 
It's yeah. fucking scary yeah. shit, dude. Because as quickly as the world changed for the Native Americans when the Europeans moved here, that that world is going to change even quicker for us if AI takes over. It's I, the Terminator, man. And he's like, he's so close to it, and yeah. he's worried about it. The way he talked about, you know, just like the extinction people, and you guys are like, that's a whole other world. I didn't realize like people that don't value human life are in charge of this. It's like gets a little scary yeah there's some people out there that are not well and they miss the point and they probably don't have anybody around them that gets it but anybody that says like i don't want to have kids and why would you have kids today i would never want to bring a kid up in this world people had kids before they figured out floors right that's why we're here yeah like don't you like people this is my thing like you don't want to have kids? Like, how do you think people get made? <laughs> you need kids, and then they become people that you like. Right. Like, yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, 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 it's difficult. It's a hard, and if, if, if shit goes wrong for them, it feels terrible for you. Yeah, 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 the world's crazy. But there's more books and medicine and information now than ever. Yeah, there's problems. Yeah, there's right. uh, fucking, there's never been a time when people have been alive ever that didn't have problems. We yeah. create fucking problems. We just kind of swapped them for yeah. the early days. You know, it's just different problems. Yeah, we don't have to worry about starving to death anymore. Now we have to worry about being too fat and eating ourselves to death. God. It's a different problem. We just got to put them on carnivore. That would help. Yep. That would help, but then the, the people that are thinking they should eat bugs and only vegetables are freaking out. Yeah. You need to stop eating meat to save the world. Like, that's not going to work, kids. Right. That's, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. You want to say we should get rid of factory farming? Yeah, it would be nice if things were more nature-like. Yeah. But instead of concentrating on the things we're doing wrong, they just they, they have like this blanket solution. We don't eliminate meat and save the planet. Like, you're still not going to save the planet. Like, <laughs> you, you, it's not, and it's not saving the planet. It's saving the human impact of the planet. And unless China's on board and unless India's on board, you're not going to put a dent in that. Right. I kind of threw out the playbook as far as like nutrition. I'm pretty sure like Huberman has said that, but like 50% of the people that died of a heart attack didn't have high cholesterol. Maybe meat is less of an enemy than what mainstream is trying to tell everybody. That's meat, the main point. Meat is eaten by 95% of the people on the planet. And we have since the beginning of time. If, if meat was killing everybody, that would have killed us off a long time ago. 